Archiving is really important to Confluence to maintaining your content hierarchy. Let me show you how it works. Here I have a piece of content that I don't need in the content hierarchy, but I don't want to delete it. So instead, I'll go to More Actions and select Archive. Now, it will remove any restrictions. So once it's in the archive, anyone can see it who can see the space. So keep that in mind when you archive things. We can add a note. This will let people know why it's in the archive. And then I'll click Archive. Right from here, I can click View and Archive to go straight to it. Now, note that that page is now missing from the hierarchy. To find it, I just open up Space Settings, search for Archive, and click Archive. And here I can see that piece of content. Clicking on it will let me see it, and again, there are no restrictions. Or I can go back and click on More Actions to restore it, delete it, or edit the note. Here I'll restore it, and this will send it right back to its most recent parent. I can, however, change this if I want to send it somewhere else. Then I'll click Restore, and I can see my content is right back where it was in the hierarchy. Archiving is an incredibly important process because it keeps our content tree clean. It makes sure stuff we don't need to be staring at is still accessible, but not immediately visible. Be on the lookout for more videos on more on archiving, but let me know in the comments how you archive content or maybe how you don't and what questions you have about it. Please like this and subscribe if you liked it, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in one of these again soon.